BlueCage.com, and this is Samsung Galaxy Beam 2. There has actually been three Galaxy Beams that, um, that was back in Eclair, and um, the first Galaxy Beam naming, and the Galaxy Beam 2. So that's, this is pretty much Gal Galaxy Beam 3. And this was only launched in China Mobile in China. And um, let's take a look at it. It's got upgraded beam projector, screen size, uh, the processor, and pretty much everything. So there's a manual reflex and the earphones, micro USB cable, battery, and charger. So it being a beam projector uh, built-in phone is, is a bit thicker and bigger than the normal phone. So this is Galaxy S4 and the Galaxy Beam 2. We can see that it's thicker and bigger in aspects as well. So it's got a receiver on the top, Samsung logo, front-facing camera, 4.66 inches of a WVGA resolution display. It's, uh, it's a bit known that the Samsung does not have full-spec projector phones. That was the case back in the first Galaxy Beam the second Galaxy Beam and the Galaxy Beam 2 as well. It's got a 1.2 gigahertz of quad core processor that's nowhere being high end and the screen resolution being limited to 480 by 800. That also proves the fact too. There's a menu home and a back key. On the right is a projector key. There you go. And the power key, micro SD card slot. And on the top is a DLP projector. You can stream your uh, video or PDF files or whatever that is projected on the phone into the projector as well. There's a mic uh, secondary microphone, volume rocker, micro SIM card slot, micro USB port, and a microphone. And the back resides a camera, LED flash, Samsung logo, China mobile logo with a speaker grill. And it's got a hairline design, so the with the Chinese certificate uh, photos, people have suspected that maybe this is a metal phone from Samsung. It happened, uh, it turned out not to be true. And there is a headphone jack that's been pushed onto the left side instead of the top because of the projector being there. Installing the battery, there's nothing on the back. Uh, it, uses, it utilizes 2600 milliamps of the interchangeable, uh, exchangeable battery, so um, that's a huge improvement from the previous Galaxy Beam. And this being a um, phone launch in China, this does not have Google services enabled, so if you want to use so, you might want to install that separately by rooting the phone. Give it us some time, it's initialization. While we do that, we can see that um, this is a bit bulky and um, we are not quite certain for why Samsung only releases this in China or unlimited areas, uh, even for the previous versions of the Galaxy Beams. The, the first Galaxy Beam was limited uh, in its launch and the second Galaxy Beam as well. I got my unit back from Puerto Rico, so that's not exactly a wide release of a Samsung phone. Give it a few seconds and it should get ready. And the languages available are pretty limited as well. It's uh, simplified Chinese, Korean, and English only. So we're going to choose English over here and proceed. Uh, there's a bit of changes in the Chinese versions of the smartphones. They call WLAN instead of Wi-Fi because um, there's some security issues uh, that China has claimed they're uh, existing on the Wi-Fi standards and the location services. This usually is Google services, but they're using Baidu location services. That's Chinese local one. So there is a main screen. It comes with the Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. That's not latest. And um, without any Google services enabled and some Chinese uh, modifications. But the important part over here is the projector over here. So you can stream almost everything that's uh, showing on the phone and um, the further you get, the bigger the screen gets. Of course, you can rotate the screen as well to make it look bigger. We'll deal with this on the review. So we're gonna just turn it off now. All right, so that was Samsung Galaxy Beam 2. We'll... <laughs>